Hey guys, Next Media Girl here, back for another Halloween pour. So I saw this crazy plastic skull at the dollar store. I mean, all of my best stories start there. So I thought not only would it be cool to paint this, but also just to pour over it due to all the fun holes in it. So this is a 10 by 10 canvas and I'm definitely going Halloween colors. So I'm gonna use a little bit of white, not a lot. And then I'm going to use, this is a glow-in-the-dark green. So I'm going to use a bunch of that. I'm going to use some purple. I'm going to use a couple different purples. I'm going to use some black, of course, Halloween. And then let's go in here with some orange. Back to the glow-in-the-dark green. And uh, the other purple I wanted to use was this fluorescent purple, which I think can look pretty cool as well. And then we're going to finish it off with a dollop of white. All right, this is going to be pretty <laughs> exciting. Now keep in mind that that green, the uh, glow paints, they're pretty um, transparent. So it's not gonna stand out all that much, but it will definitely have a presence. So I'm kind of just going all over this skull guy. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. You never know what you're gonna get. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you go to your nearest dollar store and just find some really fun things to paint with. I'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys down for a side view. This is pretty darn awesome. I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about the skull. It's pretty crazy. But let's go ahead and see what we've got with the canvas. So I'm gonna pick this dude up by his eyeballs. Carefully move this off to the side. And then we'll go ahead and do our tilting. So definitely got some fun patterns. Check out these fun cells over here. Should have plenty of paint on here. Now, I don't know that you would ever be able to duplicate a pattern on here more than once because it would all depend on how you poured it through the skull. And this thing has so many holes, you'd have to try to pour it exactly the same. But that is actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. That came out pretty darn cool. Okay, let's do this. I am going to go ahead and grab my black light. And we're gonna look at these guys in the dark and hopefully something really cool. And yeah, let's take a look. All right, so this is with the black light on. So you can see definitely the parts that glow there. Ironically, they look more blue in the camera, but they are definitely more green. I think that's just because of the reflection of the black light itself, having that blue light. Let's go ahead and turn it off. I'm going to focus on the canvas down here and we're going to see if we can see that even after the lights go out. There we go for just a second there. So turn the light, black light back on. So if you charge these, I always say this. Um, if you charge these either with a black light or out in the sun, so it could be really cool to s set this skull on your porch. I think I will do that with this. Set it out on my porch during the day. It will charge by the sun and there, then at night it will glow a bit. <laughs> Let's get the lights back on and take a look at this in the light. Okay, here is it with the light on. I am actually super happy with how this came out. I had my doubts, came out a lot cooler than I thought it was going to. And although the skull isn't quite my favorite, it's still a lot of fun 
I think it could have done maybe a little better with a little bit more black on it. And I might go ahead and put a whole layer of glow in the dark paint over it after this is dry so that it will really, really glow. And that won't affect the color much, but it'll just, you know, make it glow even more. So there you guys go. Hopefully you enjoyed this project. I will see you next time.